Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about colorectal cancer. If you wanna gain more information about nursing or to improve your nursing knowledge in general, please consider subscribing down below. I upload a video every single week and you don't wanna miss them. I also have free resources that you can download at my website called simplefitnurse.com. So please be sure to check those out. They include a free ebook for the NCLEX, a free ebook for nutrition, and an ebook for fitness. So you don't want to uh, miss out on those opportunities, and they're absolutely free. All you got to do is go to my website and press on the ebooks to download them. Later in this video, I'll show you how you can download them easily. Um, so let's get on with today's video. So as many of you know, Chadwick Boseman was a huge celebrity in the film industry and he played a significant role in inspiring minority populations, especially young people, that they can fight through the oppressive society that we have towards minority uh, populations and be successful in a field that is very, very difficult, such as film and art and he was he played a significant role in my life because he showed that you know even though he was a minority he was able to reach great fame and success and if he can do it what makes me not be able to do it and obviously i'm not in the same industry as him but he was a great figure for me and i really looked up to him as he broke the the ice in terms of building a great image for um, underprivileged populations and in, a, and in an era of great social unrest it's really sad to see such a great uh, public figure pass away all of a sudden so young and so I really want to raise awareness about colorectal cancer and and kind of share with you my experiences with it and give you more educational information that hopefully you can uh, share with your family and see if you are at risk for colorectal cancer. I also wanted to raise awareness about colorectal cancer because I have personally been affected by it as my grandfather has passed away from colorectal cancer, which makes which puts me at a risk for having colorectal cancer as one of the major uh, risk factors is genetics. So if anybody in your family has had colorectal cancer, you have a elevated risk of having it. And so I just wanted to emphasize that, you know, men in particular are more at risk of having colorectal cancer. In fact, one in six diagnoses of cancer in men is colorectal cancer. So it affects men quite significantly. So I just want you to listen very carefully and maybe share this video with a family or friend who you think might be at risk for it. So what makes colorectal cancer so deadly is the fact that the symptoms are so vague. Early stages of colorectal cancer typically have no symptoms or they have very vague symptoms. So like blood in the stool, you have nausea, abdominal pain, stuff like that, that you might typically not really immediately think colorectal cancer. So it's very important to identify, like I said, if anybody in your family has had colorectal cancer as that puts you at a major risk factor. Now, in order for you to be screened to see if you have it, they do what's called a fecal immunochemical test. And what that does is it takes a sample. So you go to your primary care provider and you say that, you know, I have a family member who passed away from it. I've, I've been experiencing some symptoms and I would like to do a fit test. And what they'll do is they'll give you a little uh, sample where you collect your feces in and you send it off to the lab and the lab checks to see if there are any blood in your stool. So let's say that you had a positive fit test. Now that doesn't necessarily mean you have colorectal cancer. It could mean a whole variety of different things. But let's say that it was positive and you did have, you, you're, you had a positive fit test. What What's done next is you go into your family doctor, you speak to them, and they'll most likely have you go for a colonoscopy. A colonoscopy is basically a tube that gets stuck 
up your butt and obviously you'll be under anesthesia so you won't feel a thing um, but essentially it's a tube that gets stuck in your butt and that tube has a camera on it and the physician uh, usually a gastroenterologist physician sees if they can identify any polyps polyps are precancerous cells essentially and the good thing about having polyps is the fact that they can go ahead and check if your colon has any polyps and they can just snip it off at that moment in time. So, you know, screening and being aware if your family has had has um, been affected by colorectal cancer are the most important ways for you to prevent the late stages, which obviously, as we know, can be quite deadly. Also, another major risk factor is age. Anybody that's aged 50 to 74 should have a conversation with their primary care provider about being screened for colorectal cancer, especially if you're a male and especially, like I said, if you have a genetic predisposition for having it. So if you're in the ages of 50 to 74, you should be looking for any of the vague symptoms you might be having, which could equal blood in the stool, you know, uh, dietary changes, you're not as hungry anymore, you have abdominal pain, you can have um, weight loss all of a sudden for no reason, vomiting, or you feel a little bit tired, or you have constant diarrhea. So those are a few facts about colorectal cancer that I thought it would be worth sharing, especially with the recent death of Chadwick Boseman which is all over the media. And I wanted to share what my experience was with uh, having a family member that passed away and things that you can do to be proactive so that you can screen to see if you do have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. And I hope to catch you in my next video. Here's a, a clip of how you can download the free resources I have on my website. See you in the next video. So first you want to go on to my website www.simplefitnurse.com Then you want to go on to my books here And then after that you want to just click over the book that you want to download and click the download link and it will automatically pop up in a PDF form Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next one.